Can a mid-sized car be both luxurious and sporty? See for yourself. Let's remember some history about Chevrolet at first. So, General Motors is literally the biggest company in the world, and Chevrolet? Chevrolet is GM's leading division. Louis Chevrolet and GM's founder William Durant started the company on November 3rd, 1911. So if we believe in math, Chevy celebrated its 107th birthday. The Malibu itself began as a trim level of the Chevy Chevelle in 1964, becoming its own model line in 1978 and by selling over 10 million units is considered as one of the best selling Chevy models. And this one behind me is the 9th generation Malibu. All right, this is not Wikipedia, let's get it. First things first, let's clear the sky to Malibu's environment. Malibu is classified as a family sedan, meaning which you can trust your family to it. Even me, who is new behind the wheel. So its main competitors are Kia Optima, Hyundai Sonata, Mazda 6, Ford Fusion, Nissan Altima, and there are also more expensive guys like Passat and Camry. Looking at today's price tags here in Azerbaijan, Malibu with LTZ or Premier package will come at $32,000 when the more expensive guys like Passat and Camry will pass the 40 and even 45,000 marks. From the design perspective, we can clearly see the sporty roots, and we can definitely spot some similarities with the 6th generation Camaro. My personal feelings about the design of the new Malibu are of course positive, but my preferences would rather lay on Ford Fusion. Yes, some people may hate it, and I wouldn't recommend to do so. And that's because aerodynamic specialist Susie Cody spent over 400 hours with the Malibu in the wind tunnel, perfecting it. The result is great. Road and wind noise goes as low as 35 decibels at 90 km per hour. Feels like a library though. So one of the most important features of this car is placed right here under this cover. There are a bunch of sensors that makes our trip safer and smoother by controlling the distance with the vehicle up front, keeping us in line and even braking if necessary to prevent unwanted accidents. And the thing I would want to notice, not every car manufacturer puts these systems in their mid-size sedans. Even when the driver is so stupid that he manages to crash with all of these systems, Malibu got him even then. It got 5 out of 5 stars on Euro Cup standards, coming as one of the safest sedans of 2018. Yes. By the way, did you know that 40% of all collisions happen during parking? No? But Malibu does. It got almost automated parking system where you control only gearbox and brakes. Therefore, considering the fact that average driver makes 18 trips a week, uh, it must be really helpful not to worry about parking anymore. But if you fill up anything with technologies like a Panada, it starts to become undependable and fades away in the shades of rivals. Not in this case. According to 36,000 real customers, for 177 specific problems, Malibu names itself as the most dependable mid-size car of the year by the JJ Powered Dependability Awards. According to me, uh, Camry seems the most dependable one, but time will show. Let's not forget the beating heart and check what's under the hood. This right here is 2-liter turbocharged engine which puts down 250 healthy horses. 0 to 100 happens in respectful 6.9 seconds. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby.
let's hop in. I insist that we start with the part that we feel the comfort with. Anyway, seats here are made of stainless steel and special material called Durafoam. Seats here are not only heated, but also ventilated, which means cool in summer, warm in winter, awesome. With all of that, I wouldn't tell that these are the best seats ever. Um, definitely 8 out of 10. The next thing that will be touched all the time is of course the steering wheel. Shortly speaking, it's simple, cool and functional. The dashboard up front is designed to be sporty as well. It mixes up analog and digital indicators. And on top of that is the windscreen projector, which warns us about dangerous situations up front. Moving to the central console, there will be an 8-inch screen greeting us. Then we meet with MyLink2 system. Maybe I expected too much because I'm a tech fan, but in my opinion it's way too simple and I think there is a reason behind that. And the reason is that system is supporting Apple CarPlay and Android Auto software. That means your smartphone will integrate in that 8-inch screen and you will spend most of your time hanging around in one of these programs. And one of good features that I like that it supports Waze navigation. One more thing, we have the volume knob. What about the radio tuning? Anyways, I guess the driver is good to go. Let's check what's in the back. Concerning my height of 180, there is a plenty of space for me. And my favorite feature here is that back seats are heated as well. And I remember my childhood when I sat down in the car in the back in the winter. And front seats were nice and heated, you know. And I insist that every car manufacturer puts this. I would want to mention one last thing. There is a plenty of space for small things like water bottles, smartphones or even the umbrella. Also, there is USB port for every passenger, so no more fights between siblings. Let's sum up. In the end, you get a safe, smart and innovative family sedan for a pretty good deal. Thumbs up for me. That's it. I would like to thank Performance Center, the official dealer of Chevrolet in Azerbaijan, for the opportunity. See you guys in the next one.